Hello everybody, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Joystick and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can integrate Control My Joystick 4 with external applications. That includes you know another application you might write uh, for running on a desktop PC or even an application that you have running on a smartphone uh, maybe on an Android or um, uh, the Apple operating system for the phone, the iOS. So let's take a look at how we would do that. Now, some of the reasons you might want to integrate uh, with Control My Joystick is you may want to provide a trigger to run a Control My Joystick macro from an external device. So for example, you could have a button on your phone on, a, on an app that you've created, and that sends a command down the network. It's received by Control My Joystick and it runs a macro. So maybe you can envision seeing a fire button or a landing gear button or something like that on your phone. The other thing you can do is you can send data from Control My Joystick to another application. So when a macro is run, you can have a script command that sends a little packet of data down the network to a receiving application, and that application can do whatever it wants with it. Maybe turn on a light, or if it's maybe a smartphone app that has received the data, it could vibrate the phone or something like that. You know, it's uh, whatever you can imagine. So let's take a look at how we would do this. Now I've created two macros here to demonstrate. And first of all, we're going to see what it's like to receive a trigger from an external application. Now we use uh, network uh, communications for this and it's through the UDP protocol. And the UDP protocol is very simple. It's, you know, it's connectionless. There's no guarantee that the data packets that you have sent are going to re be received in the same order in which you sent them. But that's not really a problem in Control My Joystick because really when we send a trigger command to control my joystick or receive data uh, from an external app, we're probably really just sending one byte at a time. And it's not mission critical stuff, so uh, we should be okay just using UDP. And the nice thing about UDP is it is fast and pretty easy. Though you need to make sure that when you're doing this, that your firewall permits connections for UDP to the port and uh, uh, the address that uh, we're about to set. Okay, so we're going to take a look at receiving UDP trigger. And here I have a trigger, and uh, I'm just going to delete this one and add it again. But it's uh, go under UDP, and you say uh, uh, which byte you are expecting. And when it receives this byte, which is you know decimal 256 or um, FF hex, then um, it's going to fire the trigger, which in turn runs the macro. And I'll just put a basic pause here in the script. And okay, so now we have a couple tools here that you can use uh, to uh, help simulate this. So uh, if you go to the UDP trigger sender is right here and I'm just gonna make this smaller. And this comes with control my joystick. And on here, I'm gonna say send data FF to 127.001 port 50001. Now this assumes, of course, that something is listening to this address and port. And uh, so if I go up here to where I added the UDP trigger, there's a place to configure the UDP trigger server. So I'll go here and I'll say, bind it on this address. And you need to be careful which address you bind it on because uh, you could have multiple network cards on your computer and each one's going to have its own address. 127.001 is really just kind of a, a default home address, which means that network card is listening on this address and it will receive something sent by this application here because it's running on the same computer. However, if I had, a, uh, say, a smartphone app sending a trigger a data packet to control my joystick, I would not use 127.001. I'd have to find out what my address is on my network. Okay, so I've set a port and uh, I've enabled it. 
Now you need to make sure you, you have uh, only one application on your computer listening to this address and this port. If you have another computer, another app that's listening to the same address and port, you'll get an error when you go to enable it. Okay, so click on OK. If we can see here in the log, it says it's online. So here we go. Just watch the log here. I'm going to try to trigger this macro with ex this external application. Okay, I'm going to send. And you can see here that the UDP server says it's received an FF and it ran a macro. So that's basically it. I mean, in our examples here, we show that you can send multiple bytes. You can do send, you know, FF, AA, CC, something like that. But really you just need to send one byte. And it's not correct to do this. You need to have both digits of your byte. Okay, I'm going to shut down this trigger sender. And now let's see what it's like to send data outwards from Control My Joystick to another application. So I'm gonna look at this macro here. And uh, you can see here, I have a trigger. And really the trigger is just a button on my Space Mouse Pro. And uh, the script though, is sending, UT, sending UDP data to this address and port and this bit of data here. So I'm just going to delete this and add it again. So we go add, send UDP, and I'm gonna send this entire string and we'll send the whole thing this time. So that's three bytes. We're sending it to this address, port 50,000. Okay, now if I was to run this macro uh, right now, and uh, in fact, I'm just gonna clear this and do that. It doesn't say here anywhere whether it was received or not. There's no guarantee of reception with UDP. So I can run it again. It was sent out in the network somewhere, but you know I didn't have anything listening for it, so nothing happened, but you're not notified of that fact. So what I can do here is go up to Tools and do the Script Send UDP Receiver Test App. This comes with Control My Joystick. And I'm going to tell it to listen to this address and this port, go enabled. So now if I press the button on my controller, we'll see here in the log that it has received data. And here the log here says it was sent and indeed on the receiving external app, the data was sent. And I'm just going to keep on pressing the button here. If I go here and edit this and say, oh, just send uh, say uh, an EE. Hey, you can see how it is, is received. So if this was your application that's receiving data from this macro, you know, you could look for a particular code and figure out what you want to do with it. Maybe turn on a light, um, well, whatever. A lot of different stuff you can do with it. So it really opens up the possibilities of applying control into control my joystick and sending control outwards from control my joystick. So there it is. That's how you deal with external applications, control my joystick. Have fun.